call this meeting to order. Uh, at this time, for everybody to stand for the invocation and then the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. Thank you, Mary. Let's pray. Father, I come before you this evening in asking that you help us make the decisions uh, that would help us to lead uh, to Corinth becoming what you have destined us to be. This season with this budget, uh, as we staff for this next coming season, and Father, of course, we pray for peace in this land in your son's name. Amen. Amen. Okay, citizens comments. Please limit your comments to three minutes. Comments about any of the council agenda items are appreciated by the council and may be taken into consideration at this time or during that agenda item. Council is prohibited from acting on or discussing items before brought before them at this time. No, sir. But if you'll give me a minute, I'm locked out of the computer. I'm trying to get tech to lock me in so I can advance the screen. Okay. Okay. Consent agenda. I'd entertain a motion on the consent agenda. Aaron, make a motion that we approve. Second. Any further discussion? Catch a vote. It's unanimous. Business agenda. Consider an act in an ordinance repealing section 130.04 curfew for minors of chapter 130 the code of ordinances to repeal juvenile curfew regulations in the city of Corinth as required by compliance with HB 1819 and providing that the repeal will become effective on September 1, 2023. Mr. Campbell. Thank you, Mary Council. This is basically just some cleanup from the bill that you just recited that's passed in the legislature this year and Chief Garner can answer any questions that I don't, but um, basically we can't do curfew ordinances anymore, so we're asking you to repeal that in this, uh, in this action item. Are there any questions? No. no. I'd entertain a motion to decide. Mayor, I move to approve ordinance number 23-08-17-20, repealing the juvenile curfew ordinance for compliance with House Bill 1819, effective September 1st, 2023. I'll second. Any discussion? Cast your vote. It's unanimous. Consider and approve the amendment and restated interlocal agreement between Denton County and the City of Corinth relating to reinvestment zone number two. Mr. Campbell. Thank you, Mayor and Council. I'm going to let the Director of Economic Development, Elise Back, take this item. Good evening, Mayor and members of Council, City Manager. Is this <laughs> Good evening, <laughs> Mayor, Mayor, members of council. Um, before you, you have the amended and restated ILA, <coughs> Dayton County and the City of Corinth for tourist number two. So as a result of COVID and supply chain issues and construction delays, we realized that we were not capturing Denton County's participation. So in the original ILA, their participation started in 2000. In 21. So what we 
are proposing is that um, the county's participation start in 2026, and that basically coincides coincides with the construction of the various mixed use projects. A number of them will be under construction, and uh, hopefully a few of them will be near um, completion. So what we're um, recommending and amending in the agreement is that the county's participation would start at 90% in 2026 through 2035, then going down to 80% at 2036 to 2045, and then uh, the remaining 10 years would be at 70% at, uh, in 2046 to 2055. Um, and this allows the county to uh, keep their participation level and time frame the same. The county did approve the ILA at their August 8th commissioner's court um, meeting, and staff recommends that uh, the council approve the amended and restated ILA between Danton County and the city of Prince for TERS number two. Are there any questions? Thank you. I'd entertain a motion on this item. Mayor, I move to approve the amended and restated interlocal agreement between Denton County and the City of Corinth related to the reinvestment zone number two. I'll second. Any further discussion? Cast your vote. It's unanimous. Consider an act and resolution of the City of Corinth and City Council of the City of Corinth, Texas, adopting a proposal fiscal year 2023-2024 municipal tax rate that will not exceed the voters' approval tax rate, calling a public hearing to be held on September 21st, 2023 at Corinth City Hall at 6.30 p.m., requiring publication of a notice of public hearing on tax increase in accordance with the state law providing for the incorporation of premises and providing an effective date. Mr. Campbell. Mr. Mayor, our Director of Finance, Dan Buckelmeyer, will take this up and answer any questions that you have. Thank you. Uh, Mayor, Council, Truth in Taxation uh, requires that the City Council publish a notice on their website and also in the newspapers of the tax rate that you are considering uh, adopting when you adopt the budget on September 21st. Um, this is the, and so what this will do that you're doing tonight is setting the public hearing date so that residents have an opportunity to come and speak and also setting the maximum tax rate that you're willing to consider. The tax rate that we have before you is 52 cents, which is in the proposed budget, and it is below the voter tax approval rate, so it does not trigger any election and it does not trigger any petition requirements. I would like to know <clears throat> that when we did this, um, item that we had the public hearing set for September 21st, which was the night that you were going to approve the budget and the tax rate, uh, but we are requesting an amendment to this that the public hearings actually be held on September 7th uh, at 6.30. So if you would um, make that clarification in your motion, we would appreciate it. And I'll be happy to answer any questions. Anybody have any questions for Okay. I'd entertain a motion on this item. Mayor, I move to approve a resolution placing a proposal on the September 7th, 2023 Council agenda to consider a fiscal year 2023-2024 property tax rate at 52 cents per $100 evaluation, which exceeds the known new revenue tax rate of 47.289 cents and a de minimis tax rate of 50.894 cents, but does not exceed the voter approval rate of 52.6 five eight cents and to set the public hearing on the proposal to consider the approving approving the tax rate for Thursday, September 7, 6 30 p.m. at the city Crane City Hall, 3300 Crent Parkway, Crent, Texas, 76208. I'll second that. <laughs> I did all that for <laughs> <laughs> Any further discussion? We catch your vote. <coughs> it's unanimous. Consider an act and a resolution appointing the Planning and Zoning Commission as the Capital Improvement Advisory Committee for the City of Corinth and providing an effective date. Mr. Campbell. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Our Director of Development and Services, John Webb, will take this item. Answer any questions you have. Thank you, Mayor and Council. As you saw in your staff packet, we are uh, now fully underway in our five year update of our capital improvement plan, which is related to the impact fees that we charge for water, wastewater, and roadways. Per state law, uh, we need the input. 
Capital Improvements Advisory Committee, which allows the Planning Zoning Commission to serve as that committee as long as they have at least one person in real estate development uh, community that you do as our chair. And so this is just appoints that group and they will receive their first presentation at their meeting uh, at the end of this month. And we, as in your packet, the calendar of the sitting of public hearing dates going forward. Any question, council? If not, then there any motion on this side? I just have a comment to say. The, the motion to approve the, if you're going to approve the resolution, if you would, uh, someone identify that we need to delete the existing section three and remove references to ad hoc. We do not need that. Okay. We can approve the motion with, with removing section three and removing references to the ad hoc committee. That would be appreciated. Okay. I'd entertain the motion. Mayor, I move to approve resolution 23-08-17-14 as presented with the caveat that we remove section three and remove references to ad hoc. I'll second. Any further discussion? Cast your vote. It's unanimous. Item six, consider an act on act on calling a public hearing to be held on October 5th, 2023 at Corinth City Hall at 6.30 p.m. to hear public opinion regarding the amendment of land use assumptions, capital improvement plans, and associated impact fees for water, wastewater, and roadway capital improvements. Mr. Campbell. Mayor Council, Director of Development, John Webb will cover this one as well. So again, our state law uh, talks about certain dates that you have to set public hearings. This allows us to get a publication in the newspaper at least 30 days in advance of public hearing as required by state law. So we need to set this date, and that again puts it in process to get the public hearings published and get the information before you. Are there any questions from council? I'd entertain a motion on this item. Mr. Mayor, I move to approve setting the public hearing date for October 5th, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. to be held in the city council chambers at Current City Hall, 3300 Current Parkway, Texas. I'll second. Any further discussion? Catch your vote. Get your names. Council comment and future agenda items. The purpose of this section is to allow each council member the opportunity to provide general updates and her comments to fellow council members, the public, and her staff on any issues or future events. Also, in accordance with section 30.085, of the code of ordinances at this time any council member may direct that an item be added as a business item to any future agenda mr burr nothing mayor thank you mr garber nothing sir thank you mr holzer nothing mayor thank you mr Pickens. nothing mayor thank you mr campbell no sir nothing to report okay i just have one item uh on august 23rd at down at uh, motor pizza place down in on portal 7 in Louisville. Mayor Item is going to be competing with uh, seven other mayors to see who can make the best pizza. So if you're hungry for pizza that night, come down and enjoy it. Have a few laughs at me in the kitchen, and it should be a lot of fun. We're adjourned. <laughs>